happened. Well, it certainly wasn't any of God's doing, that's for sure. Huh? Who's- So you're the reviewer who happens to like bad movies, huh? Well, it's not that I just like bad movies, I just- SILENCE! Ah! I'm sorry, oh dark one, please don't hurt me! Oh, I'm not going to hurt you, fool. Really? Then why did you bring me here? You're here because I am tired of people like you making light of the films that my servants make. So I'm going to subject you to the worst film hell has ever made. Oh god, you're gonna make me watch the Ginger Dead Man movies? No. I'm going to show you something even worse than that. No! We're tiny. We're toony. Greetings, travelers, and welcome to hell. <sighs> You know, it's hard to find stuff to review in November, so it's thanks to people who recommend me movies that makes this job easier, even if the movie is unholy and terrible. So it gives me great pleasure, even if I don't have a choice, to review Terror Tunes. We're tiny. We're tuny. The movie was created by Joe Castro, a man who is infamous in the filmmaking industry for creating some of the worst movies ever made. While not as infamous or hated as someone like Uwe Boll, Joe Castro's movies and the company he works for, Brain Damage Films, are known as a low-budget schlock company that can't compare to my favorite low-budget company, Full Moon Entertainment. <laughs> The movie follows a group of friends having a party while one of their friend's younger sister is watching a DVD of the movie? Okay. Which release the tunes from their home dimension to create carnage levels of chaos. We're tiny. This entire cast, excluding the monsters, are all terrible. And that's because all of them were porn actors. I know that I shouldn't judge these actors by what they were in, however, because most actors only know how to perform from their previous performances, it makes it hard for me to enjoy the film. So, because of these performances, it became more and more difficult for me to enjoy the movie. When all the actors don't put in the effort to act like they're in a relatively big budgeted movie, and that gets distracting and has the effect of everyone else not caring, except for the two monsters, which were done through voice acting and sound effects, since one of them was a monkey. And because of that, these two actors are probably the best performances in the movie, as they had to be in very uncomfortable suits and had to move around in crazy situations and hold giant props. We're tiny. The few positives I can give this movie is that it made me laugh and it had some passable special effects. While the effects are not as impressive as movies with a budget, they are still better than the effects from Monsterd, and anything is better than Monsterd. The writing for this movie is nothing special, but I feel like this movie takes use of its low budget and made a movie that works for what they had. <laughs> I recognize that the movie is low budget, however I can't ignore that they cut corners in certain parts. If they wanted to make the villains cartoons, then why not make them actual cartoons? Instead, they're just men in cheap Halloween costumes. The acting doesn't help, and that is due to the fact that everyone in this movie has only ever done porno movies. And the less said about that, the better. <laughs> This movie isn't very good. It does everything wrong from the acting to the writing and those awful suits and special effects. However, I don't think it's that bad. This movie falls into the same category as The Room or Birdemic. 
It's so bad that it has a charm to it, unlike Monsterd, which is just a terrible ripoff of another popular low-budget film. I give this movie a 4 out of 10. While not a good film, I can see the appeal that it gets and the reason it has three sequels. So, how was that? I can't believe you actually gave my creation a positive rating! Wait, you're mad that I gave you a, your movie a positive rating? Don't you want people to check this out because I gave it a positive review? No, I wanted you to suffer from this! Now that people know it isn't bad, people will go out and enjoy this film. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Silence! I'm sending you back to your little spaceship. But be warned, I will bring you back for more terrible movies. Wait, you what? Oh, God damn it! <sighs> Computer, set up a force field and a magic barrier around the ship. Acknowledged. What the hell's going on, boss? We've got a new threat to deal with, and I'm not going to be caught with my pants down this time. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony.